this young blood that is bringing fresh ideas. Uh, an opportunity, opportunity for everyone in Mumbai to try and have a look at the, these works. Obviously, it will never be possible to see them all, but getting a chance to see even a few is more than enough. Getting a taste of life, a slice of life, presented to you by some very, very, uh, uh, some people who have spent a hell of a lot of time and emotion and uh, a creativity trying to bring that out. And uh, for this one week, it's, which is full of activities, even other than movie making, discussions by all the um, makers and, uh, um, as they say, masters of cinema, talking about cinema, it would be very, very uh, useful to young students of cinema. Uh, the details, I'm sure, will be handed over to you if they are not, they haven't already been given to you. And I would also like to reiterate my thanks to this uh, wonderful selection committee sitting in front of me and the head behind me. Uh, they, uh, they, they, they must have uh, really done, uh, it, it must have been a very difficult task to come across all this. The jury will ultimately decide what's best. We will wait for that moment as well. And in the meantime, I uh, beseech you to come, enjoy, partake of this wonderful opportunity of seeing cinema at its best. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Apologies. Something that I uh, should have mentioned. There is a special selection, uh, a section of uh, restored films uh, being shown at this festival. And one of the films has been restored by none other than Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. The film is called Floor Walker by Charlie Chaplin. And I think I would be as interested as any of you. We'd all, all love to see Chaplin has been my favorite. And if Mr. Butchen has taken the trouble of restoring it, that must be a classic, a masterpiece. And we should all be there and have a, have a feel of it as well. Thank you. Wow. Now may I please call upon eminent lyricist, social commentator, and author, Mr. Amit Khanna, to kindly share a few words, please. Good evening. Uh, as uh, Mr. Benigal mentioned, uh, we are uh, now in the 15th year of this Mumbai Film Festival. This began as an idea when a group of uh, about, I think, half a dozen of us met under the leadership of Mr. Rishikesh Mukherjee uh, 15, 16 years ago and said that the filmmaking capital of India uh, deserved to have a festival of its own. Uh, and so it started off as a small idea of, by a group of filmmakers and we thought that let's build on it. And it's absolutely gratifying to see that in 15 years we have actually become one of the major festivals in the world. Uh, amongst our founding trustees, there are three of us here, uh, Shyam, myself, and Ramesh, and Amol Palekar unfortunately couldn't uh, join us. Um, some of the others who are not present here do in their own bit, uh, you know, since they're all practicing filmmakers, they do contribute in their own way but are not able to be present, uh, physically present every time. But their support is something which we treasure and we hope to get, you know, there's a whole bunch of younger filmmakers uh, who've got involved and it always helps sustain this movement of, of this. Because uh, to, to us, the Mumbai Film Festival is like a big movement set of, of our cinema. Five years ago, uh, Reliance Entertainment, more specifically Mrs. Tina Mani got involved, and that actually proved to be a catalyst of, for, for growth, and we are all thankful to her for her continued support. 
Uh, there is, there are several interesting, uh, you know, asides about this festival. Uh, I've been to festivals around the world. I keep go going them there every now and then. This has become, in terms of the the kind, as Mr. Benigal and, and others have said, uh, it's the, the range of films which you can see here is quite staggering. Uh, even from when you compare it with the, the major festivals of the world. Uh, so that, I think, is a very distinctive achievement. Uh, we have also, as you can see, a very eminent jury. You have a couple of Oscar winners who are uh, here, Academy Award winners. Uh, the American uh, Academy uh, uh, is, for the first time, going to present, as Mr. Benigal said, uh, specific uh, workshops. We are happy to have the involvement of the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers the apex body of, of uh, all the technical people from the world of cinema and television who are overseeing the, the technical quality of projection and sound. And more importantly, uh, you know, based on the feedback which one got, that uh, there was a lot of overlap of, uh, between uh, screenings and the academic activities which, went, uh, uh, which happened around the festival. So we've decided to keep the afternoon slot free so that more people can attend, you know, open forums, uh, workshops, uh, and uh, master classes. Because one of the idea of having uh, a festival uh, uh, in Mumbai uh, as distinct from other festivals in India and, and abroad is to give a chance to our young and aspiring filmmakers uh, a platform to interact with some of the best uh, from around the world. Uh, you're all familiar uh, with the jury. I mean, the, the three juries are quite stunning. You know, I mean, I was, even I was taken aback when I read some of the names. Um, and very <coughs> diverse and talented people. The other thing which uh, I'd like to mention is that one of the problems <coughs> which... Uh, plagued Indian film festivals for years was the absence of a proper film market. Since I had participated in film markets around the world, I discovered that it's actually just two or three markets internationally. It's the Cannes, Berlin, a little bit now in Toronto, uh, where most of the, and, and AFM, which is North American film market, where most of the business gets conducted. So there was no point in trying to replicate that kind of thing. And that's what was happening over the last 40 years at IFI and other festivals where they were trying to create a market like Khan. You cannot because it is, you, it's already established, it does its work, and there's no point in creating another hub. So after a lot of thinking, what we decided two or three years ago was to create the Mumbai Film Mart. And I'm happy to inform you that it's through the efforts of the Mumbai Film Mart in the last two or three years that we have managed to break through uh, the screening or, or the sale of Indian films in three or four non-traditional territories. For example, uh, it was at the Mumbai Film uh, Mart three years ago that Japan opened up, uh, Taiwan opened up, South Korea opened up. This year we are hoping to have some breakthrough in, in Latin America and other, other non-traditional markets. So it's a very focused business-to-business -business, uh, platform. Uh, there's a special site this year called the Project Room where uh, young filmmakers or other filmmakers can show their uh, under-production films to not only buyers but also uh, you know, the directors of other foreign festivals who are going to be present. So this is becoming a large kind of uh, uh, 